Hi, welcome to another video on the channel. Just past seven o'clock in the morning, I'm on my way to Reading. It's gonna be a special episode today because it is freezing. So, it's special in the fact that I'm going to freeze my off. Absolutely, I mean, it's 1.5 degrees at the moment. The car was like an ice block when I come out. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting going with the laws today so I'm going to start on a lake in Reading in Green Park and hope for some perch maybe some pike then I might try some canals um, yeah we'll just see how it goes really I'll, if if Green Park's really good then I may just stay there but to be fair I've fished there now three times not for any huge length of time but with law kit for pike never for perch before and I've never caught a single thing, so, you know, we'll see. So I'm going to finish my coffee, and then I will see you on the bank. different when I was last here. Last time it was flooded. This time it actually looks like it's dropped quite a lot. I could see you know, quite far. If you look behind me here, the bank seems to be low and really low behind me there. So yeah, we'll give it a go and see what happens. jetty area over to the right hand side of the lake so I'm going to go over and give that a go perch love a bit of structure on this lake in the in the warmer months but obviously not at the moment hopefully we can get something from here let's give it a go to snap that off, retie the leader, and I've decided to change the uh, change the jig at the same time. So this is what I did have on. I mean, I may go back to it, it's a very good law, it's just, I haven't got anything with it yet, so I thought I'd just give it a quick change to just something a little bit brighter. 
So we'll give that a go. Sticky shark. All right. A few more casts from this jetty. And then we'll move on. First take, pike. Oh, so annoying. I've fished here so many times with pike and caught absolutely nothing. I'm gonna sling the pike law about before I reattach a perch one, see if uh, he's still around. nothing about there but it gives me a little bit of hope at least that's the first take I've ever had on here granted it was on the wrong rod but it is what it is definitely gonna need to tie a new leader on it because it's now only half the size so the leader is only about a foot long now so uh, yeah we'll move down a little bit give the pike go a bit the pike rod a bit more of a go if nothing happens I'll tie a new leader on and continue with the perch may swap the law over that was a very small law that uh, that, that pike took so if i don't get no action on this big one i'll uh, put something a little bit smaller on maybe that's what they're after maybe that's what the problem's been all along all right let's move along sit down on a little bench behind me down here and uh, sort the perch rod back out stick a new leader on it maybe give that a few flings I have actually seen in the distance over there like a little tunnel I've never been this far down the lake before I normally target the other end most of the time I wonder if you can get to that tunnel because that would be a, probably quite a good perch point I don't know if you only have to fish from the designated swims here or not. I might have to quickly look at the law, but the rules, because if that's the case, then it, it'll be a no, because there's no swim near it. Okay, let's sort the perch rod out and carry on. That's, a, that's the perch rod we set up. So I thought I'd just run you through what I use on uh, these little roving, perchy, pikey type sessions. So I always have my little law bag, which is just goes around me, then click to my side, I have a net. And then I have two rods, that's all I carry. Everything I need is in this little bag and attached to the bottom of that bag is a mat. Obviously, just in case I get something, which I haven't needed that for a while. Um, a couple of changes on the pike and perch rods, mainly because just before Christmas, a bit before Christmas, I was carrying the stuff in from the car and slipped on a bank and I snapped my pike rod in half. I snapped my pike reel uh, handle off and bent the bail arm and I bent the bail arm on the perch reel. The perch rod survived, that was the only thing that did. So I now have 
pike rods, nothing special. It's a Fox Warrior, so it's not a not an expensive one. But then it was just before Christmas, so I didn't really have a lot of money to spend on a, on a new rod and reel. Well, two reels and a rod uh, set up. This one slightly different than the last one. This one's a seven foot, uh, fifteen to fifty gram. Whereas the last one was an eight foot, and a new Savage Gear reel with new uh, Fox braid. That's thirty eight pound braid I think something like that and obviously a wire trace on the end perch rod is my little fox ultralight rod I'm so glad this didn't break because I love this little rod and a tiny same savage gear reel but a lot smaller uh, this has got 11 pound braid on it and a six or eight pound fluorocarbon leader I can't remember which one it was I've just tied it on I should know but I didn't I didn't and this one's just got a tiny little little jig on it so now that that's set up let's see if we can get a perch or a pike well not a pike a perch on this rod I'll fling it around this swim that I've been piking for the last 20 minutes or so if nothing happens I think there might be one more swim further down then it's, I'll head back up the, the other end of the lake and see what's there. Hopefully something. distance over there there's one sort of massive swim I'm gonna go and work that one then I'll call it a day on this lake and go find another one fishing not the best hopefully the river's got some color color or the canals have got some color I've got three venues that I fancy one being Ufton never been there I've just heard it's got decent perch in so I don't even know if it's a river or a canal I'll have a look when I get back to the car then there's Midgham Midgham, Midgham, Midgham Canal, whatever you want to call it, which is a Kennet and Avon in Midgham. Again, never really done any good there either, but it looks so good. I can't believe that it doesn't produce. I'm sure it does at some times of the year, or to some people, just not to me. Then we've got Moatlands. It's really a pike venue. But it's a pain to get into, pain to get out of pain to park my car's quite low to the ground and it's you kind of need a 4x4 to get through and down the lane it's quite bad I have had pike from there before so yeah I'm going to see which one's closest to where I am which is I'm basically near enough central Reading here I might get some breakfast first though too so I am marving yeah see which one's closest where I am and head there. Let's get back to the car and get cracking. Down to Uff 
Ogden River and Canal. Looks like quite a good spot. There's a couple of, on the river, it looks like there's a couple of uh, sort of eddies and slack points for perch and pike as well. And the canal runs opposite it, so I'll switch this round. Over there, along here, is the river. And on the other side of that bank is the canal. So it's quite handy. So I might spend a bit of time here. And if nothing happens here, I've got Midrum, Migum, whatever it's called, up the road. And that'll be it. So I'm hoping I can pull something out of the bag. I don't want to blank. Although, looks like there could be a canoeing problem as there's bloody loads of them. Have a little look down here. Oh, it looks very shallow. It's very shallow in the margins, but give it a few casts. If nothing here, probably move on to the canal. too much for my little gym. So we'll move down onto the canal, see if we can find something there. Oh, there's a lovely little walled area in front of me, so let's give that a go with the perch rod. <laughs> I'd realised it was going to be this sunny all day, I wouldn't have even bothered law fishing, but that's all I've got with me. So, decisions now. Didn't get nothing out of the Ufton stretch. I'm thinking Midgham is up the road from here, like five minutes or less. Um, which looks good, but again, I've never really caught anything from there, but it could be, could be the day. But, well, if it's anything like this, like it has been today, then probably not. Or I can head to Moatlands, where I have had pike before. But it's a bit further away in the opposite direction. I think I'm gonna to go to Moatlands. I'll have a walk around, casting. If nothing happens, then well, it's a blank day. Not much I can do about that. Right, let's get cracking. Well, just driving down the lane to Moatlands. Oh, God, it's so bumpy. It's such a long lane as well. I have no idea how long it is, but it feels a hell of a lot longer when you're doing five mile an hour because of the bumps. Yeah, so hopefully we can get some pike. Well, there's only going to be pike, that's all I'm going for. I'm pretty sure there's probably perch in here. Um, I know there's some big tension here, but it's an interesting place to fish. Now, this is an open water or an open area. You know, anyone can walk through here, walk their dogs, do whatever. And because it's so far out of the way, it's not the safest, I don't think. So I've been told anyway. And it's the only lake on the RDAA ticket that you can night fish, I believe on a general permit, the only one. Only because, as far as I know, no one wants to night fish it. It's a bit risky. 
I wasn't too bad before. There used to be an RDAA car park up here, locked car park, so you could put your car in there and lock it behind you. Absolutely fine. But last time I came up here, that hut was being used by road work people, or people doing work to the bridge on the canal, I think. That might not be the case now. It might be back open again to members. But last time it was not, so I had to park the car in a swim, and there's all sorts of people walking around. So yeah, still driving down the track. I've got the M4 to my left, a very short, very short uh, distance between me and that. But I think we're just nearly coming up to the lake now. So let's find somewhere to park, get the kit out and have a wander. So here we are at Moatlands behind me here. Let's fling the pike. Hello. Let's fling the. Oh my god, I can't speak. Let's fling the pike law about. Let's see if we can get something good. This is the spot where I've had a few before, right on this corner. But right, it was nowhere near as sunny as this. And the water is gin clear. I don't know if I'll be able to show that on here. Probably can't really see. But it is, trust me. So I'll make a few casts here. And then I'm going to make the decision whether to call it a day or not. This sun is really not ideal for law fishing in the slightest. I'm gutted. I would have gone some, somewhere else and done a completely different thing. I wouldn't have bothered law fishing. A few days ago when I checked, it was uh, showing overcast and cold all day. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. But then that's the weather for you. It's never right. Right, let's give this a few casts. <music> over I had it on for a couple of seconds and then it just threw the hook Ugh. definitely one of those days well, I threw it out a load of more times nothing at all I'm just gonna move swims to the next one along after this one there's people around the corner from me and people opposite me so I don't really want to be casting into their area, so this is kind of last chance to loon this swim, really. If nothing happens, then... C'est la vie. into some kind of snag whatever it was it wasn't moving first time ever I actually the, the trace snapped now this is one I brought from a I can't remember where it was now it was a 
but it wasn't Fox or someone like that, it was another company. Um, but I've had him snap at the knot, obviously, before, and you just lose the whole trace. But I've never lost the, or snapped the trace beyond the swivel. So it's very odd. But well, with that, I think I'm gonna call it a day. It's been a lovely day. I've done a hell of a lot of walking. It's been lovely to be out. And the weather's been nice to walk in as well. Well, I am sweating a bit wearing these uh, salopettes. But it is what it is. Hopefully I'll get something next time. Just me and law fishing just don't seem to be uh, something to be on uh, on par this year or the end of last year either to be fair well but thanks for watching please like and subscribe the video and i'll catch you on the next one